must say, Leonard, when I first heard your idea for giant Jenga, I was skeptical. I can't blame you. Tiny Twister was a complete bust. Oh, no, I was wrong. That, that looming threat of being crushed under a pile of lumber does add a certain spice. I never felt so alive. <laughs> Oh, hello, Alex. Uh, let me go get you last night's recordings. What recordings? Wait, you remember what you told me I talk in my sleep? Well, it occurred to me that, like most things I say, it's probably pure gold. <laughs> so I started recording it all, and now Alex gets to comb through eight hours of what I like to call Sheldon After Dark. Hey, Leonard. Hey, just playing a little giant Jenga here. Oh, I know. I'm the one who had to buy him the helmet. <laughs> so do you have any plans this weekend? Well, most of Saturday is going to be figuring out where to put this game when we're done. <laughs> about you? Oh, I'm going to go see Kip Thorne give a lecture on subatomic space-time. Oh, that's his take on John Wheeler's quantum phone. That should be great. Well, if you want, you can come with me. Uh, I'd love to, but I'm supposed to hang out with Penny. Well, bring her. Oh, she's not really into that kind of stuff. Yeah, okay. Well, if you want to hear about the lecture, I can tell you all about it at work or, you know, over dinner sometime. Oh.